Here we have a graphing problem, and you can see two trigonometric functions. One is in red, one is in blue. And they're different wavy lines, basically. One is, the red one is a1, that's this right here, a1 times sine of b1 times x. And the blue one is a2 times sine of b2 times x. And the question is, which of the following statements best describes the graph? Okay, so here are our statements. And if you look at these statements, they're inequalities. They tell you uh, a2 is bigger than a1 is bigger than 0. Okay, and that's right here. Or maybe uh, a2 is bigger than 0 is bigger than a1, or, or all sorts of statements. And we have to figure out which one of these statements is right. So what you have to understand is what this a is. Okay, there's a few things in this equation that actually aren't important. If you look at the letter B, uh, it matters in all sorts of trigonometric applications, but it doesn't matter in this question. They're not asking us about B. They're not asking us about X. They are asking us about A right here. So we have to understand what A is. So A is the amplitude. If you remember from graphing trig, what they're asking us essentially is which one of these amplitudes is bigger? And amplitude, if you remember your trig vocab, that is how big this wave is, how high it goes up and down. A big amplitude wave might look like this, and a little one, maybe it only looks like this. So they're asking which one of these waves has the biggest amplitude. Well, I can see the red one is bigger. So how do we describe that? Um, I need to say some kind of thing like this. A1 is bigger than A2. So let's look in these possible answers here and see which ones make sense. Uh, a1 bigger than a2. Well, in this one, a1 is bigger than a2. Um, that makes sense. In let's see, in this one, you can see a1 is less than a2. a2 all the way on the left, that's greater than a1. So that's not going to work for us. Um, likewise, in this one, that says a1 less than a2. That's not going to work for us. Um, this one, that looks pretty good. a1 bigger than a2. And in this one, uh, that says a1 less than a2, so that one's wrong. So I have two options here that both say a1 is greater than a2. And here's the trick. Um, is a1 bigger than 0 or less than 0? Well, we should all know that a1 is bigger than 0 because the lowest your amplitude could possibly be is 0, and that would be a flat line. And these are definitely wavy lines. These have non-zero amplitudes. They're, um, it looks like 2 for the blue curve and maybe... Maybe this is 2.5 for the red curve's amplitude. So these are both bigger than zero. So if you look down at this graph, or this list of choices, only one of them is actually bigger than zero. This one right here, A1 is bigger than A2, but it looks like they're both less than zero. They're negative amplitudes. That doesn't make any sense. Our only answer that makes any sense here is uh, this one right here. A1 is bigger than A2, and they're both bigger than zero. So be careful of this one. Can't seem to reason that. Be careful of this one. It's a little confusing. Look at those inequalities, but you just have to sort your way through it, thinking in terms of what's the biggest amplitude. That's what the question's all about.